Are we ready? Estamos listos. The Bible says, dice la Biblia de la siguiente manera. I'll, I'll read the I'll read the version uh, on the screen so that we can all follow along. Voy a leer la versión que está en las pantallas para que todos estemos igual. Cierta tarde Pedro y Juan fueron al templo para participar en el servicio de oración de las 3 de la tarde. Mientras se acercaban al templo llevaban cargando a un hombre cojo de nacimiento Todos los días lo ponían junto a la puerta del templo la que se llama hermosa Para que pidiera limosna a la gente que entraba Cuando el hombre vio que Pedro y Juan estaban por entrar les pidió dinero Pedro y Juan lo miraron fijamente y Pedro le dijo míranos el hombre lisiado los miró ansiosamente esperando recibir un poco de dinero Pero Pedro le dijo yo no tengo plata ni oro para ti Pero te daré lo que tengo en el nombre de Jesucristo de Nazaret Levántate y camina Entonces Pedro tomó el hombre lisiado de la mano derecha y lo ayudó a levantarse y mientras lo hacía al instante los pies y los tobillos Todos digan los pies y los tobillos Del hombre fueron sanados y fortalecidos Se levantó de un salto, se puso de pie y comenzó a caminar Luego entró en el templo con ellos Todos digan caminando, saltando y alabando a Dios In English, in English, this reads in the following manner. In English, lee de la siguiente manera. Peter and John went to the temple one afternoon to take part in, th in the three o'clock prayer service. As they approached the temple, a man lame from birth was being carried in. Each day he was put aside the temple gate, the one called the beautiful gate. So he could beg from the people going into the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for some money. Peter and John looked at him intently, and Peter said, Look at us. The lame man looked at them eagerly, expecting some money. But Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ, the, the Nazarene, get up and walk. Then Peter took the lame man by the right hand and helped him up. And as he did, the man's feet and ankles, everyone say feet and ankles, were instantly healed and strengthened. He jumped up, stood on his feet, and began to walk. Then, everyone say, walking, leaping, and praising God, he went into the temple with them. I'd like to preach to you, uh, hallelujah, today, a sermon that God has placed in my heart that I've entitled, It's All Good. Quisiera predicarles sobre el tema, hermanos, todo está bien. Father, we come before you at this moment and we thank you for your presence. We ask you to have your way in this house. Allow me to be your mouthpiece once again and speak your word into the hearts and into the minds today. That this word, Lord, can transform the hearts and the lives, but above all, can horrify hell today in Jesus' mighty name. Padre Santo, venemos ante tu presencia y te damos gracias por tu presencia, por tu palabra y por tu poder. En esta tarde te pido, Señor, que me permita ser tu vocero una vez más y exponer esta palabra, Señor, que toque las vidas transforme los corazones y sobre todo que trastorne el reino de las tinieblas en el nombre poderoso de Cristo Jesús, amén y amén tomen su asiento alabando y glorificando a Dios you may be seated magnifying and glorifying the good name of Jesus hallelujah now today's message is not going to be so at least I don't feel it's so profound no siento que el mensaje de hoy va a ser muy profundo But that doesn't mean it's not necessary. Pero eso no quiere decir que no es, aleluya, necesario. Amen. Uh, now, many of the times uh, we, we, we come to the house of God and, and we're, we're, we should be expecting. Y muchas de las veces venimos a la casa de Dios y debemos de estar expectando 
eh, esperando algo de Dios. And I tell you that if, if you loan me a few minutes of your time, y le, le digo si me permite un tiempo de, 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 su, de, de ahorita, hermanos, de su tiempo, eh, vamos a llegar, aleluya, a un lugar muy hermoso. Amen. I'm going to invite you to tell somebody it's all good. Quiero que le diga a alguien todo está bien. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Alabado sea el dulce nombre de Jesús. We have in this hour a mindset that we carry within ourselves to simply walk around and constantly feel the pressure to tell everybody it's all good. En esta hora vemos hermanos nosotros caminando en esta vida eh, La presión la sentimos de tener que decirle a todos que todo está bien As you're talking with family and friends al hablar con amigos y con parientes You don't want to worry people, a veces no quieres preocupar a la gente Oh it's all good, todo está bien People might come to you and ask you, how are you? Hay gente que va a venir y te va a preguntar, ¿cómo estás? And we tend to have the, the tendency to simply say, it, it's, it's all good. Y tenemos la tendencia de contestar, todo está bien, even when things aren't, aún cuando no están. Now the reality is that many people actually think that things truly are all good. Y la realidad es que hay mucha gente que lamentablemente ellos están pensando sinceramente que todo está bien. People will look at a woman with a, with, with a black eye. Hay personas que van a ver una mujer con un moretón en su ojo. ¿Cómo, ¿Qué te pasó? Todo está bien. What happened? It's all good. Amen. They know that you're struggling financially. Saben que estás batallando económicamente. ¿Cómo estás sabido? Oh, it's all good. Todo está bien. And sometimes we feel like if we don't answer in this manner. Y a veces pensamos que si no contestamos de esta manera. That we're doing God a disservice. Que le estamos haciendo a Dios un servicio malo. Le estamos pagando mal a Dios. Porque no decimos... Como realmente estamos viviendo. Because we're not saying how truly we're living. Or what we're truly going through. And I know that this scripture a lot of the times has been preached throughout the years. And it's wonderful about how he was healed. And, and you know how you can't give what you don't have. Y, y, y que hermoso es esta escritura hermanos. Que tanto se ha predicado sobre los temas hermanos. De la sanidad, del milagro. De cómo no puedes dar lo que no tienes y cuánto. But as I read this scripture. Pero mientras yo leía esta escritura. Something jumped in my spirit. Algo brincó en mi espíritu. And it was his ankles and his feet. Y eran sus tobillos y sus pies. Now, mind you, his eyes were good. Ahora fíjese, sus ojos estaban bien. But he couldn't advance, pero no podía avanzar. His hands, they were good. Sus manos fun funcionaban, estaban bien. But he didn't have joy, pero no tenía gozo. He was sitting at the doors of the temple called beautiful. Estaba sentado a las puertas del templo llamado la hermosa. But praising God was not his focus, pero alabando a Dios no era su enfoque. And this scripture, esta escritura, and this story, I, I, I tried to get past it, traté hermanos de pasarla y, y seguir leyendo aquí, but, but the Lord kept bringing me back, and he, and, and he kind of was pointed, and, and I could see the man's ankles and his feet, y podía ver eh, los tobillos y los pies de este hombre. And I said, what does that have to do with, with me? What does that have to do with the church? ¿Qué tiene que ver eso conmigo? ¿Qué tiene que ver con la iglesia? And he said, it's all good. Y me dijo, todo está bien. 
And I wondered and, I, and, and, and finally the Holy Ghost helped me out. Y de repente el Espíritu Santo vino a mi auxilio. And I understood what he was trying to tell me. Y entendí lo que me quería dar a entender. He says, I'm trying to deal with my people. Estoy queriendo tratar con mi pueblo. But every time I go to bless them, cada, cada vez que voy para bendecirlos, every time I come down, cada vez que vengo y me atraen con su adoración and they attract me with their praise, they tell me, no God, it's all good. No Dios, todo está bien. He said, you see, their eyes are good. Their hands are good. But, but they're, they're, all, they're saying it's all good. Yeah, look, I'm all good. Yo, yo estoy, estoy, estoy bien. Y miran sus ojos, miran sus manos. Y se miran, pues, pues estoy vestido bien. I'm dressed well. I, I can do all this, pero puedo hacer todo esto. He says, but it's not really all good. Pero realmente no todo está bien. This man can move. Could feed himself, could eat, could cook. Este hombre podía cocinar, podía comer, podía hacer lo que sea con sus manos, podía hablar, tener una conversación. And I wondered how many church folk can have a conversation, can cook, can serve one another. ¿Qué tanto de la iglesia pueden cocinar y servirse y hablar y tener una conversación y estar en Facebook todo el día and be on Facebook all day? And it seems like everything is fine y parece que todo está bien. But God was saying, have you checked their feet? Have you checked their ankles? Pero el Señor me dijo has visto los pies les has visto aleluya los tobillos I said I haven't no lo he hecho you tell me how many of you take selfies of your feet and ankles que tantos de ustedes hermanos se toman una foto de sus pies y sus tobillos everybody's like this Hello? Hallelujah. And that's the problem. We walk by the mirror and we're like, yeah. Y pasamos hasta por el espejo y nomás nos vemos. Yeah, mira, vámonos. And that's it. Y es todo. Pero el Señor dijo, por eso mi pueblo no puede avanzar. That's why my people can't advance. It's not that there's a problem with their hands. No hay problema con sus manos. They don't have a problem with their eyes. No tienen problema con sus ojos. He said, but they have a problem with their feet and their ankles. Pero tienen un problema con sus pies y sus tobillos. And then watch this from there. He, look, look where he took me. Mira a donde me llevó. 1 Corinthians 3, 10 and 11. Fíjese lo que dice 1 Corinthians 3, 10 y 11. Listen to this. Escucha bien. Did we get those all media? Let's get them going. We, we, got, we got several verses. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 3, 10 y 11. Watch, por la gracia que Dios me dio, yo eché los cimientos o la fundación, dice otra, otra versión, como un experto en construcción. Ahora otros edifican encima, pero cualquiera que edifique sobre este fundamento tiene que tener mucho cuidado. Fíjese. Pues nadie puede poner un fundamento distinto del que ya tenemos que es Jesucristo. Because of God's grace to me I have laid the foundation like an expert builder. Now others are building on it. But whoever is building on this foundation must be very careful. For no one can lay any foundation other than the one we already have, Jesus Christ. It's, it's our foundation. Es nuestra fundación. You see, we're saying it's all good. But if you don't have your feet right, you can't advance. Hermano, puedes decir que todo está bien. Pero si tus pies no están bien, no puedes avanzar. Next verse. Escuche, escuche. ¿Qué tiene que ver esto con la fundación? What do you mean with our foundation? has everything to do with our foundation. Todo tiene que ver con nuestra fundación. We're trying to lay other things to make us feel good and make us feel better. Like I've got this. I'm all right. You don't even congregate. You have no authority over your life. How dare you say everything is good? ¿Cómo puedes decir que todo está bien cuando no te congregas y no tienes alguien sobre tu vida de autoridad espiritual? Luke 6, 40, 40. Luke chapter 6. 
verse 46 to 49. Lucas 6, del 46 al 49. Watch me now. Ahora fíjese en esto. Así que, ¿por qué siguen llamándome Señor, Señor, cuando no hacen lo que digo? Les mostraré cómo es cuando una persona viene a mí, escucha mi enseñanza y después la sigue. Es como una persona que para construir una casa cava hondo y echa los cimientos sobre roca sólida. Cuando suben las aguas de la inundación y golpean contra esa casa, esta queda intacta porque está bien construida. Pero el que oye y no obedece es como una persona que construye una casa sobre el suelo sin cimientos. Cuando cuando las aguas de la inundación azoten esa casa se derrumbará en un montón de escombros so why do you keep calling me Lord Lord when you don't do what I say I will show you what it's like when someone comes to me listens to my teachings and then follows it it's like a person building a house who digs deep and lays the foundation on solid rock when the flood waters rise and break against that house it stands firm because it is well built but anyone who hears and doesn't obey is like a person who builds a house right on the ground without a foundation when the floods sweep down against that house it will collapse into a heap of ruins we're going crazy our life is in ruins nosotros estamos volviendo lo loco porque nuestra vida hermanos aleluya está en descombro y estamos pensando and we're thinking where did I go wrong donde me fui mal it's real simple it's your feet and your ankles son tus pies y tus tobillos have you ever seen those beautiful homes nunca has visto esos hogares hermosos and then when they say there's a problem with the foundation pero hay un problema con la fundación what do you think that happens they don't take some of the walls off no le quitan parte hermanos aleluya de las paredes they don't say change the roof no le dicen cambia aleluya el techo they say you gotta tear it all the way down tienes que romperla hasta el suelo and many of us have, have problems with our feet and our ankles and we're trying to change our hairdo y muchos de nosotros tenemos problemas con nuestros pies y nuestros tobillos y queremos cambiar nuestra manera que nos peinamos we have a problem with our feet and our ankles and we want to change the way we look queremos cambiar nuestro vestuario porque tenemos un problema con nuestros pies y nuestros tobillos if we could focus on the problem si pudiéramos enfocarnos en nuestro problema then hallelujah we can edify ahora podemos edificar and we can truly grow y podemos verdaderamente crecer Tell your neighbor it's all good. Dígale a su vecino, todo está bien. It seems to be one of the biggest lies we use as Christian people today. Parece que ser una de las mentiras más grandes que como pueblo de Dios usamos en esta hora. You know you're not doing well. Oh, it's all good. Sabes que no estás bien y no, todo está bien. Isaiah 28, 16, Isaías 28, 16. I normally don't use so many scriptures in my preaching. Normalmente no uso tanta escritura en, en mi sermón, but, but this is what the Lord took me to. Pero esto es lo que el Señor me llevó en este día. Isaiah 28, 16, Isaías 28, 16. Hallelujah. Brother Lupe, make sure everything's back there, brother. I need that done quick. Gloria a Dios. Isaiah 28, 16, Isaías 28, 16 Vamos a necesitar que comprar otra computadora nueva, hermanos. We need to buy it. They had already told me that we're struggling with it. We're going to have to raise a thousand dollars today to buy it. Only one person said amen. Everybody else is like, yeah, let the pastor struggle. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Who said it? Ah, without fear. Come on. Who said it? The sovereign Lord says, look, I am placing a foundation stone in Jerusalem. A firm and tested stone. It is a precious cornerstone that is safe to build on. Whoever believes need never be shaken. Por lo tanto, esto dice el Señor soberano. ¿Quién? El Señor soberano. Miren, 
pongo una piedra de cimiento en Jerusalén una piedra sólida y probada es una preciosa piedra principal sobre la cual se puede construir con seguridad el que crea jamás será sacudido my God This is powerful right here. Esto tan poderoso. You see that same rock that he's talking about there. He talks about it. Hallelujah. In the New Testament. Esa roca que está hablando ahí también la habla. Hallelujah. En el Nuevo Testamento. In the book of Matthew. En el libro de Mateo. Hallelujah. Lo menciona de la manera. Y sobre esta roca edificaré mi iglesia. He calls it out and he says that upon this rock I will edify my church. Dijo y las puertas del infierno and even the gates of hell no prevalecerán en contra de I shall not prevail against it church I came to sound the alarm yo vine a sonar la alarma it's time that we check our feet and our ankles es tiempo de checar nuestros tobillos y nuestros pies it's time gozanda rabacaya es tiempo que nosotros empecemos a avanzar Now let me go back, déjame regresar. The Bible says, when in, the, in the beginning, when we read, en lo principio que leemos, the Bible says that when he healed, que cuando él sanó, what happened? ¿Qué sucedió? The Bible says three things, tres cosas. He entered into the house, how? ¿Cómo entró en la casa? Walking, caminando, leaping, ¿verdad? Saltando, and praising God y alabando a Dios. You might have good hands, puede tener buenas manos. You can have good eyes, puede tener buenos buenos ojos, hermanos. Aleluya. But if your feet and your ankles aren't working, pero si tus pies y tus tobillos no están funcionando, you cannot advance, no puedes avanzar. Because walking here represents advancing. Porque el caminar aquí representa avanzamiento. As the church, uh, I've noticed that at times uh, the church itself or even brethren within the church. Uh, he notado que a veces hermanos la iglesia entera o a veces personas dentro hermanos del cuerpo de Cristo que batallan para avanzar, they struggle to advance. Y nosotros los vemos vestidos bien bonitos and we see them dressed so nice. And they talk very nice y hablan muy bonitos. Uh, but they're very immature pero son muy inmaduros. They don't know how to win a soul. No saben cómo ganar un alma. They don't know how to be patient and long suffering with one another. No, no saben ser pacientes y sufridos el uno con el otro. They don't know how to be kind and loving. No saben ser hermanos bondadosos y amorosos el uno con el otro. Do you know why? Sabe por qué? We think bad of each other. Sabe por qué pensamos mal del uno del otro? Because all we've done, lo único que hemos hecho, is we've changed our hairdo and changed the coat we wear and bought new shoes hemos comprado nuevos zapatos hemos cambiado el saco hemos cambiado nuestro corte de pelo pero no hemos avanzado but we have not advanced no you're not hearing me today no me está escuchando I came to preach to somebody this morning yo vine a predicar a alguien en esta mañana sometimes with the only way we can advance la única manera que podemos avanzar we gotta get rid of some stuff tenemos que empezar a soltar we gotta get rid of that ugly attitude tenemos que soltar esa actitud ese carácter que no le conviene a Dios That character that doesn't represent God. Esa ese esa ese chisme, hermano. That 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 gossip. We gotta let it go. Tenemos que soltar. You gotta let go. Oh, they hurt me and they did this to me. Me hicieron esto y me dañan. Ah, hay que empezar a soltar eso. Ya es tiempo de avanzar. And we got to advance. Cuando uno empieza algo, nunca, hermano, es perfecto. When you begin something, you're not perfect. The, the, the twins, when, when, when they were born, did you have to run and catch them? They weren't running? You sure? Why not? Because they didn't have firm feet and ankles. Oh, you're not hearing me today. I wish I had a witness in the house that could testify when the baby's born. You don't, you don't, and, and they'll even tell you, you don't, you don't stand up the baby and let them go. Why? Because they don't have firm ankles and firm feet. Los bebés no los puedes levantar y ay, a ver, ay, se cayó. ¿Por qué? Porque no tiene pies y tobillos firmes. Hmm, you're not hearing me. 
Pero cuando el niño, watch, watch, watch. Pero cuando el niño empieza, lo primero que hace, he starts finding his balance, right? Empieza a encontrar su balance. And he starts, and he holds his hands out. Y empieza, because he's thinking like, like what's going on here? Esto es nuevo para mí. Oh, but when his ankles get firm. Pero cuando sus, sus, sus tobillos, hermanos, se afirman. Aleluya. Now, now you don't got the parents saying, oh, you know, he doesn't walk yet. El papá ya no está diciendo, pues no camine. No, now he's running after him. Hey, get back here. Ahora está corriendo. Hey, vente para acá. Because he's advancing. Porque está avanzando. What happens when the child does not walk? ¿Qué pasa cuando el niño no puede caminar? O cuando no se para. Or when he doesn't stand. That means there's something wrong with him. Quiere decir que hay algo, hermanos. Eh, hay un defecto que tiene la criatura. And I wonder how many church folk are defective in the house. Y me pregunto qué tantos de los hermanos estamos defectos en la casa de Dios. We can't stand on our own two feet. Que no nos podemos poner de pie, hermanos, con nuestros propios pies. Hello? Listen, escuche. Because that's what happens. Eso es lo que sucede. The reason why. The, my God. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Siento el Espíritu Santo. Let me just let me preach. Amen. Déjame predicar. So what happens is this. Esto es lo que sucede. What happens is as we're growing, mientras estamos creciendo, now we become dependent on everybody else because you're not doing things on your own. Y ahora, hermanos, somos dependientes el uno del otro. ¿Por qué, hermanos? Porque no podemos hacer nada solos. Now, hallelujah, when there's a sick person around you, cuando hay un enfermo, well, let me call the pastor because I can't pray. Déjame hablar al pastor porque yo no puedo orar. When you get paid, hallelujah, cuando te pagan, you need somebody to be telling you, hey, you should give your tithes. Tienes que tener alguien que te diga, oye, debes de dar tus diezmos. Because if not, you might not give it all, porque a lo mejor no lo das todo, or you might just skip it and forget it. O a lo mejor, hermano, no lo das y se te olvida. But ah, my God, I wish I had a couple of people that could stand on their own two feet, que pudieran estar puestos de pie en su propio, hallelujah, en su propia fuerza y decir, hermano, venga lo que venga y pase lo que pase, yo le voy a servir a Dios, yo le voy a ser fiel a Dios. Aquí vamos a estar y no nos vamos. Porque yo sé en quién he confiado. Because I know in whom I've trusted. I'm not going nowhere. Hallelujah. There's so much more I can say on that, but we got to go to the next one. Hay mucho más que podemos avanzar ahí, pero vamos a seguir al otro. Let me go back real quick. Déjame regresar. It's because it's too good. Está, está muy bueno. The thing is that, that the whole point is that the church needs to advance. Es que como iglesia tenemos que avanzar. When we do not advance, we regress. Cuando no avanzamos, hermanos, eh, retrocedemos. And the Bible says we are not the type that go back. Dice la Escritura que nosotros no somos aquel tipo que retrocede. And the only way you can do that is be able to stand your ground. Es poder ponerte de pie y decir, vente con todo porque yo vengo con todo. Come with everything because I got everything right now. The whole point of Ephesians 6, todo el, 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 hermanos, el propósito de Efesios 6, put on the whole armor of God, is not, listen, listen, is not so you can sit there and let the enemy come and attack you. No es para que te pongas toda la armadura de Dios y te quedes sentado. The Bible says, put on the armor of God so that you can stand firm, para que estés parado firme. Okay, let's keep going. Seguimos. Next one. What was it? My God, everything is going crazy today. Todos está volviendo loco en este día. The name of Jesus. There we go. Next thing is leaping. Oh, man, this is powerful. Are you with me, church? Está conmigo? My God, leaping, saltando. So tell, tell somebody, leaping. Dígale a alguien, saltando. Oh, sabacán de rebesaya. Watch, watch. Have you ever heard the, the term leap of faith? Un salto de fe. Do you know what that means? ¿Sabe lo que significa? Woo. Watch, watch. A leap. Un brinco de fe, of faith. Watch. It means, it means, significa to change, cambiar. My God, this is so powerful. Somebody needs to hear this. It's a term used in the Bible to describe a time when a person makes a sudden faith change. Cuando alguien, hermano, sale, aleluya, hace un cambio de fe, de, de repente, to follow a new 
Everyone say new. Path. Seguir un, un, una, un nuevo camino. Now, leaping here is about changing our outlook. Aquí saltar es cambiar, hermanos, nuestra perspectiva. The Bible says that every day they would carry this man. Todos los días cargaban este hombre and they would sit him down so he could ask for alms para pedir limosna. And he had to wait there. He tenía que esperar for somebody to give him their daily bread para que alguien le diera su pan de vida. My God. Y lo que sucede fue cuando él se levantó when he stood up. You see, let me tell you something. I can't see everybody from here. Yo no puedo ver a todos desde aquí. Sometimes we're sitting down. A veces estamos sentados. And we can only see what's in front of us. Y solo podemos ver lo que está enfrente de nosotros. That mountain looks bigger. That sickness looks bigger. Esa enfermedad se mira más grande. Esa, esa montaña se mira más grande. And we're looking. And all we see is the problems. Y todo lo que podemos ver es el telón y los problemas. Ah, but when we stand up. Pero cuando podemos levantarlos. All of a sudden my perspective begins to change. De repente mi perspectiva empieza a and now, now I said I can see behind. Now I can see over. Ahora puedo ver más allá de la montaña, más allá del problema. Ah, masoto rocaya. Now I can stand up and say it doesn't matter what comes at me. As long as God is for me, then who dare be against me? Ahora realmente no importa quién está en contra de mí, porque si Dios por mí, quién se atreve a estar en contra de mí? Alguien de la gloria a Dios. The church has to be able to leap into something different. La iglesia tiene que saltar a algo nuevo. And we got to be able to see things in a different perspective. Y ver las cosas diferentemente. We can't always be having a pity party. No siempre podemos estar con una fiesta de lástima. Oh, poor little me. And oh, poor little this. And oh, poor little... Pobre diablo, el Señor lo reprenda. Yo soy hijo de Dios. Usted es hija de Dios. El asalda y arabacaya. Le damos a veces, hermanos, parece que estamos en el equipo equivocado. Sometimes we're on the wrong team. Hello. My God. Oh, I'm preaching. We got to change our outlook. Tenemos que cambiar nuestra. Oh, everybody is against me. Stop lying. Nobody's against you. They're just trying to help you and love you. Ah, es que nadie me quiere me mentira del diablo. Todos los hermanos te aman y te quieren ayudar. Tú eres los que te pones difícil. Te invitan a comer. A mí no me gusta eso, pero te invitaron a comer. Nadie me invita. No one invites me. They do invite you. You just don't want to go. Pero no gusta que nos rueguen. Ya no voy a la iglesia porque el pastor no me ha hablado. ¿Acaso yo fui el que morí en la cruz por, de, del Calvario por ti? Was I the one that died on Calvary for you? No más hay uno. There's only one. Y su nombre es Cristo Jesús. And his name is Jesus Christ. We got to change our outlook. Tenemos que cambiar nuestra perspectiva. Now God will heal you and God will transform you. Ahora Dios te puede sanar y te puede transformar. I'm all good with that. Yo lo creo con todo mi corazón. Trust me, I've seen miracles left. I've visto milagros. I've seen it all. He visto de todo. But let me tell you something. Pero déjeme decirle, you cannot praise God because of that. Pero no puedes alabar a Dios o servirle por causa de eso. Because when you understand, porque cuando entiendes, then you serve God out of understanding. Ahora le sirves a Dios por entendimiento. I don't come to church because I'm the pastor. Yo no vengo a la iglesia porque soy el pastor. I don't pray because I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preach to you. Yo no predico, yo no oro porque te voy a predicar. That's what people, oh, they're going to, uh, it's my turn. This isn't a turn thing, this is a lifestyle. Oh, es mi turno. Esto no se trata de turno, se trata de un estilo de vida. 
Venemos porque sabemos. We come because we know. Just like you go to work because you know that if you go, you get paid. Así como vas al trabajo y vas porque, porque te pagan, es lo mismo. Oh, you don't want to be preached. So you're tired already. Ya se cansaron. I'm going to get ready to close with this. Brother Eric, give me some of that, uh, that, that keyboard here, up here. Let's get a, a B3 Hammond organ up in here. I feel like preaching. And what was the last thing that he do? Que fue lo último que hizo? Huh? Entró caminando. He came in walking. He looked. He came in jumping. Vino saltando. And then he came in praising God. Y luego vino alabando. My. You see. Praising God in for this man and para este hombre was the testimony. Fue el testimonio. Some of you came to the house of God and met God in a moment where you didn't have a house. Unos vinieron a la casa de Dios cuando no tenían casa. That's when you met God. Ahí es cuando conocieron. And now that you have a house, y ahora que tienes una casa, you don't want nobody there. No quieres invitar a nadie ahí. You came to God because you didn't have a job. Viniste porque no tenías tra- And now that you have a job, y ahora que tienes trabajo, you don't have time for God anymore. Ya no tienes tiempo para Dios. Oh, I know it's going to hurt. It's okay. Yo sé que va a doler y está bien. We will put things before God. Ponemos a Dios primero. Oh, I want this and I want to quiero esto. And God has been good to you. And you forget how good God is. Y luego se te olvida que tan bueno Dios es contigo. God has rescued your life, your marriage, your health, your children, your finances. Dios te ha rescatado a ti, a tu matrimonio, a tu familia, a tu salud, tus finanzas. And you still struggle to praise Him. Y todavía batallas en alabarle. Your hands can be good. Tus manos pueden estar bien. Your eyes can be good. Tus ojos pueden estar bien. You can be dressed well. Pueden estar listo. But it's not until you learn to come to his feet. And throw yourself at the mercy. And say God have your way with me. Y no es hasta que tú puedas usar tus pies. Para tirarte ante el trono del Señor. Y decirle Padre. Haz como te plazca con mi vida. That's the difference. So next time, next time you think about it, it's all good. Ask yourself, when's the last time you threw yourself before the Lord and say, Lord, really change me. Have your way. Tear it off. Cut it off. Whatever needs to happen, let it happen. Que tantas veces, antes de que te digas, todo está bien, hermano. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que veniste ante el Señor? Te tiraste al suelo y le dijiste, haz conmigo lo que quieras. Quítame lo que quieras. Rompe lo que necesitas que romper. Eh, haz lo que tengas que hacer conmigo. Este hombre estaba bien, aparentemente. Apparently he was good. And you could say he only had one problem. He solo tenía un problema. And it was with his feet and his ankles. Era con sus pies y sus tobillos. If you're not standing on Christ, si no estás parado en Cristo, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how educated you get. No importa qué tan educado tú te pongas. Si, si no estás parado en la roca, my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Siento el Espíritu Santo. Listen, escucha. If you don't have Christ as the center of your life, if you don't have Him as the foundation, si no tienes a Cristo como tu fundación o como tu centro, no importa qué tan educado estés. It doesn't matter how educated you are. It don't matter how much money you have in the bank. No importa qué tanto dinero tengas en el banco. It don't matter where you live, where you were born, what your last name is, and I, I, I don't care what else no importa donde vives donde naciste no importa nada no tienes nada you have nothing people feel secured 
in, in, in their well-being here on earth. Mucha gente se siente cómodo y seguro con lo que tienen aquí en esta tierra. But I just came to tell you and remind you, church, that everything here is temporary. Que todo lo que está aquí es temporal. You know, there's people, and sadly, this is truth. I, I, esto es verdad. There are people, hay gente que, que no van a alabar a Dios, que se entristecen, que están dispuestos a salirse de la iglesia, that are willing to leave church, willing to leave God, willing not to serve, not to praise until we build a new church. Hasta que construyamos una iglesia nueva. And the way I see it, y como yo lo miro, I think God's looking at it saying, but if you don't do it now, why am I going to give it to you then? Si el Señor dice, pues si no lo haces ahorita, pues para qué te voy a dar algo más? Porque en lo poco fuiste fiel. Until we build a new church. Hasta que construyamos una iglesia. It's not all good, church. No, no todo está bien. And it's okay. Está bien. Because if you don't recognize that not everything's good, then you can't fix nothing. Porque si no reconoces que no todo está bien, no vas a poder arreglar nada. Because every time you're going to, oh, no, I'm all right. Instead of, and, and look, instead of coming and saying, Pastor, how do you do this? Pastor, what do you think of this? You're too prideful. And guess what? I'll leave you sitting there. Hay gente que tiene tanto orgullo, hermanos, porque no, ah, bueno, pues ahí te voy a dejar sentado. Because I've been there. Come, get up. Levántate. And they don't extend, they don't extend their hand. Y no extienden su mano. They'll go with the, oh, he's against me. Van a ir, prefieren. No, no, él está contra mí. God is for you, church. Dios está por ti. He's in your corner. Está a, a, a tu favor. God wants the best for you. Dios quiere lo mejor para ti. But I believe that after today, pero creo que después de hoy, everything is going to be good. Todo va a estar bien. I said everything will be good. Dije todo va a estar bien. I'm going to invite you to stand. Le voy a invitar que se ponga de pie. If, if there's some things that you need to change, that, that need to be updated, that you need to come, and man, God, I've been telling everybody it's good, but it's not good in my life. Si tú has sido uno de esos que has, a todos les dices todo está bien, pero realmente hasta Dios le has dicho todo está bien, Señor, pero realmente no está todo bien. Yo quisiera invitarte a este altar. I'd like you to come to this altar. I'd like to pray with you. Quisiera orar contigo. I'm going to invite the ministry to help me pray. Voy a invitar al ministerio que me ayude a orar.